Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Anthony. I'm a sports medicine surgeon at Mount Sinai. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Anthony. We wanted to talk to you about hip impingement. So we'll, at, we'll start off by asking, what is hip impingement and what are the common symptoms? Hip impingement occurs when there's contact in the ball and socket joint in the hip, and this results in a focal pain in the groin area. Sometimes that pain can be referred down the leg or into the buttocks region, but most commonly it presents in patients as pain in the groin and decreased range of motion. Okay, great. So what are some treatment options? Treatment options usually start at home and that can include a flexibility and strengthening program of all the muscles around the hip. Physical therapy is often prescribed where you can do those exercises under the guidance of a professional. Um, injection therapy can be an option to try to further diagnose and, and treat those symptoms. And surgery is always the last resort. So now what do I do if these options don't work? If the, if the conservative treatment options such as physical therapy, home exercises, and physical therapy are not improving, then we will often by that time have x-rays and an MRI scan to further um, see that diagnosis of either hip impingement and or a labral tear. Labral tears are it's a lining of cartilage around the hip joint and we often see those in combination with hip impingement at the same time. So what are treatment options? Well, surgery would be the next step in failure of those conservative management options. Uh, we have hip arthroscopy, which is an outpatient procedure that we do in the operating room where it's keyhole surgery to shave down the bump of bone and recontour the hip to reduce the impingement. And at the same time, we put sutures in to repair the damaged labrum. And now, what is the recovery process like after a hip arthroscopy? The recovery process after hip arthroscopy is very active. I send my patients to see a physical therapist the very first day post-op, and they get them on a stationary bike. They're using crutches for, for a couple weeks. Uh, but it's not a procedure where you're lying in bed. It's a very active recovery process. Oh wow, that's great. So when do patients need a hip replacement versus arthroscopy? That's a good question. So hip replacements are used to treat moderate or severe osteoarthritis. And osteoarthritis is loss of cartilage in the joint. So hip arthroscopy is, for, is uh, used best in patients who have preserved cartilage with impingement and labral tears, whereas a hip replacement is used for patients who have severe osteoarthritis or loss of cartilage in the hip. Great, thank you. Is there anything that else that you would like to add? I'd just like to encourage patients who are having groin pain or having hip pain to seek medical attention, to see an orthopedic surgeon, get x-rays, MRI scans, get it evaluated. If there is untreated hip impingement, this can lead to osteoarthritis or loss of cartilage in the hip because it affects the biomechanics. So it's important for early detection and treatment to try to preserve that hip for the future. Great, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.